stories here at 730 beginning with early voting continuing in our state. But today there's something big happening in Maricopa County. Yeah, election officials are set to open the ballots that have already been sent in. So Maria's got more on what's going on with them. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, so starting today, Maricopa County will be counting those early ballots and we want to let you know so far more than 600,000 ballots have been verified and are ready to be tabulated. Some deadlines to keep in mind if you want a mail in ballot. The last day to ask for one is Friday, October 23rd, and the post office recommends you put it in the mail a week from today. This morning, Erica, jo Erica Flores, spokesperson for Maricopa County Elections, joins us live to tell us what we need to know about today and especially when it comes to making sure that this is happening in such an efficient way. What are you guys doing to make sure this is an efficient manner? Well, we do have new tabulation machines, so that has helped a lot. Today we will be counting with those tabulation machines and then the state law that allows us to start tabulating 14 days before election day, that will help us get results out quicker. The tabulation machines, they count about 6,000 ballots per hour compared to the old tabulation machines that we had that counted about 3,000 ballots per hour. And how are you keeping the ballot secure? We do have a secure vault and we do have cameras that are 24-7 cameras and we have the ballots that are processed and then also the ones that are going to be signature verified there in the vault. What else do people need to know about today and moving forward? We're two weeks away from election day. Well, voters need to know that if they have their early ballot, they can always go to any drop box location or any vote center. We have drop box boxes inside of the vote centers. They can go to locations.maricopa.vote to find the hours and the locations. And then on Saturday, we're actually going to have drive through drop box locations as well. So voters don't need to wait until election day to cast their uh, their vote. They can either drop off their early ballot or vote in person at any of the vote centers that we have open with safety measures in place. So there's so many different options for voters to make sure that they get their vote counted. Again, much more information on their website. So that's what's happening out here. They've got a very, very busy day ahead of them. I've seen the poll workers come through and also all of the cars come by to drop off their mail-in ballots. Back to you.